Looks like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is doing pretty well with Thursday night previews. Whether or not this will continue on to the weekend, I don't know. However, it is important to point out that 6.2 million is 66% higher than when the first movie opened and only got 3 million for its opening previews. So this movie is on track to do pretty good for its first opening weekend. I know there's a lot of pent up demand for a good family movie, which this movie very much is. I did go see it yesterday and I did enjoy it. I think it's a movie you could definitely take your family to. And the great thing about it is a lot of the parents probably grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog games. And there's a lot of references for them in this movie. One of the, and this isn't a spoiler, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a scene where uh, Dr. Robotnik's minion, he's, uh, he's, I think his name is, is Agent Stone or Sloan. He's running a coffee shop and it's called The Mean Bean, which is, of course, a reference to Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which is a, old puzzle game from the Sega Genesis era. It's just little stuff like that that I definitely appreciate. This movie really does try to please fans. There's a lot of nods back to the games, which I appreciated. I think it's a little longer than it needed to be. You could have trimmed out like 20 minutes of that movie. But all in all, I give it a good 7 out of 10. I think it was a fun family movie. Like just, I didn't see really any ideology or woke shit. It's just trying to be fun and entertain. And I think that's good. So if you've got kids, definitely a movie you can go see with them and have a good time. And I think there is a demand for that. And a lot of people probably going to go see it. The real interesting question is how will this movie affect Fantastic Beasts? I hope it crushes it. And it will also probably piss off critics if this movie does well, because don't forget, uh, this movie, they very, very much want to shut this movie down. They tried real hard to shut the first one down because they didn't like that the studio listened to fans and wanted to make fans happy. This movie goes out of its way to be fan-pleasing. And they didn't like that. Remember that weird war that they were trying to push with Sonic versus Birds of Prey? That was hilarious. That was like right before the COOF lockdowns. You had all of the shills out there saying, go see Birds of Prey over Sonic. There were literally accounts out there trying to say that only racists go watch Sonic and shit. It was a weird time. Unfortunately, this movie doesn't have it this time. Maybe against Fantastic Beasts, that could be a thing. We'll see. You know, they're already out there trying to damage control for that movie. But the good news here, did well. It looks like it's going to crush all of its competition, including this movie called Ambulance, which really doesn't look like that bad of a movie, but uh, that movie's doing awful with 700 k for its opening day. So we'll see how it does. Uh, I'm I'm hoping the movie does well. I like this franchise. I think it's fun. I'd like to see a third one get made. Uh, Critics, though, still trying to pound on the movie 67%. But look at that audience score. Once again... Proving critics don't have their pulse on what people actually like. 98% audience score versus 67% critic score. They're, of course, trying to bring this movie down, review bomb it, just like they did with the original. Uh, This compares pretty closely to the original. That one is at 63% with a 93% audience score, with over 10,000 people that rated it, by the way. So this movie's on track, if this holds, to be more enjoyed by audiences. One thing I'll point out, if you didn't like the human characters in the original, they're not in this movie. This movie is all Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Jim Carrey. He was once again fantastic in this movie, by the way. A real callback to how he used to be when he was more slapstick. I've really enjoyed him in these Sonic the Hedgehog movies because it reminds me of the movies, like the roles he took when he first started acting. 
So I, I do like it. Even though I don't like his political views and, and how he's kind of been over the past couple of years, I still like a lot of his older movies. And I think he can still be funny if he wants to be. And he definitely doesn't disappoint in this movie or in the old Sonic. I, I liked it. It's like a return to form for him. Though I think he's bouncing out of Hollywood. I didn't report on this, but uh, while he's been promoting Sonic the Hedgehog, he's talking about, like, bouncing, like, I've done enough. What a good time to get the fuck out of Hollywood, <laughs> to get out. Uh, from what I understand, like, all he does is hang out with his family and enjoy his grandkids and paint. I think that's, like, all he's doing, and he's probably saved his money. He came from a poor background. So he's probably invested and saved and could doesn't have to work anymore. Getting out of the the nasty hive of Hollywood, maybe that'll take him back to to real life. But you know, uh, I don't know. Now is the best time to get out of Hollywood. That that I do know. So I like seeing this movie do well. Ninety eight percent score for audiences, sixty seven percent score for critics. Once again giving critics the middle finger. They were so butthurt about this movie. So butthurt about it because of the fact that uh, they redesigned him because the fans did not like that original uh, original Sonic design. They were so butthurt about it. So they've always just had a bone to pick with this franchise. So to see it do well despite them trying to do everything they can to fuck with this movie does bring a little smile to my face. Though I think it just... Went up the stats at 68%. Will they change their opinion on this movie? That's something that uh, we'll have to see. But so far, doing well. We'll see how the box office does. I hope that it uh, shits all over Fantastic Beasts. That would be fantastic. I really want to see Fantastic Beasts 3 fail. I want to see it crash and burn at the box office and see this movie beat it to a pulp. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on all this are. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you saw the movie, what'd you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you going to go see Fantastic Beast 3? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you can actually get some alerts. And I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.